Basic Navigation in Power Chart, Module 4. In this module, we will discuss key components that will assist you in navigation through your patient's chart. Let's start with changing your password. Cerner passwords are set to expire every 90 days. You will receive a prompt to change your password just prior to expiration. Should you need to change your password at any time, go to the top menu bar and click on Task, then Change Password. Enter your old password, followed by your new password twice. Click OK. Should you ever encounter a problem with logging in or forgetting your password, please call our Shore Help Desk at 609-653-3403. In this next section, we will cover some of the icons located within the toolbar that will help you streamline your Cerner navigation. The exit icon closes the Cerner application. You will be logged off. The suspend icon allows you to put your Cerner session in a locked status for a brief period of time. This feature is useful in situations where you need to temporarily leave your workstation. Once you suspend, the power chart screen minimizes and a blue lock icon appears in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. To resume your session, click on the lock icon, simply type in your password, and click OK. The calculator icon opens the online clinical calculator screen. To use the calculator, select the formula from the drop-down field and enter the known value. The calculator will provide you with the computed value. The Dport icon allows access into the Dport process. Instruction on completing the DPART process will be covered in our online CPOE training module. The Up to Date icon provides direct access to Up to Date, a physician authored clinical knowledge resource for point of care decisions. The last icon for discussion is related to your current message center status. Notice the gold key icon in your toolbar. This provides real-time totals of required actions from within your message center. Clicking on the required action takes you directly into your message center inbox. Below the toolbar is the bright blue banner bar displaying the key patient identifiers such as patient name, birth date, medical record number, and financial number. Below the banner bar and to the right is the refresh icon. Clicking on the refresh icon updates your screen with any new data. It is important to refresh PowerChart frequently, especially after entering new orders. Now that we've gone through many of the tools and icons in PowerChart, we will take you through key sections of the menu that will assist you in caring for your patient. The menu is located on the left-hand side of your screen under the blue banner bar. The menu serves as a table of contents for the electronic record. The menu can be either minimized to the side of the screen or pinned in place. There are three sections within the menu that will be covered in detail in other training videos. The Provider Workflow M page and Provider Documentation sections are covered in our Dynamic Documentation video. Orders are covered in our CPOE video. Let's start with the MAP Reconciliation section. MAP is an acronym for Medications, Allergies, and Problems. CMS, or the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, requires that all admitted patients have medication, allergy, and problem reconciliation completed by the provider. The MAP Reconciliation M page has been created for your convenience. However, MAP components are also included in the Provider Workflow M page. Home Medication Reconciliation is the first component in the MAP M page. The status bar located at the top right hand side provides Med History and Admission MedRec status. To launch the Admission Medication Reconciliation window, simply click on the Admission link in the status bar. The process of completing the admission MedRec will be covered in detail in our CPOE training video. 
Allergy reconciliation is the next component on the MAP M page. You can view the allergy information listed and, if needed, modify, cancel, or add an allergy. To modify an allergy, click on the line to highlight the allergy and open the Modify box on the right. Click the Modify button to enable the fields for modification. Complete your updates, then save and close the Modify box. To cancel an allergy, follow the same steps to open the Modify box on the right. Click the Modify button, then change the allergy status from Active to Cancel, and add the reason. Save and close the Modify box. Finally, to add an allergy, search for the allergy using the Allergy Search box. The Add box opens to allow for additional data to be entered regarding the allergy. Once completed, save and close. Once allergy information is reviewed and or updated, the provider must click the Complete Reconciliation button to meet the CMS requirement. The third and final component of the MAP M page is Problem Reconciliation. You can review the patient's problem list and, if needed, modify, cancel, or add a problem. To modify a problem, click on the line to highlight the problem and open the edit box on the right. From here, you are able to modify, resolve, or cancel a problem from the list. To add a problem, search for the problem using the Problem Search box. Select the problem to be added. The problem pulls in as confirmed, medical, and active. Edits can be made using the Modify steps previously demonstrated. Once the problem list is reviewed and or updated, the provider must click the Complete Reconciliation button to meet the CMS requirement. Moving down the menu, we will now take a look at the Results Review section of the electronic record. Lab, Microbiology, and Diagnostic Results can be viewed here under their respective tabs. Diagnostic results are obtained by double-clicking on the cell to open the report. To view the actual diagnostic image, simply click on the View Image icon at the top of the screen. Please note that the gray clinical range bar can be adjusted to a more specific date and time. Right-click directly on the bar to change the search criteria. Next, we will explore the AP Summary section. This provides you with anatomical pathology reports. The MAR Summary provides you with a summary of the patient's medication administration record concise information regarding continuous infusions, scheduled, and PRM medications can be found here. One final section we will review is clinical notes. Clinical note types are found in file format on the left-hand side of your screen. Double-click on the folder to open. Notes are displayed by date and time. Hover over the note to view more specific detail regarding note type and author. To review a note, double-click to open. This concludes Module 4 and our Cerner Power Chart Overview for Providers.